Oh shop! This is place the booby fan. And last year, because of COVID, I had a hard time deciding which booby I should watch during Christmas. There wasn't a lot to choose from science. There weren't too many movies in movie theaters. Majority of movies I could watch were exclusively on streaming services. So I was fucking struggling. I had no fucking idea which movie I should choose to watch. Thankfully, a good friend of mine, Shorter Sanders, found the perfect movie for me to review. And that movie, of course, was Christmas. Chronicles 2. Now I was curious to see the first one, so I decided to review it the following year, which is 2021. Oh wait, that is now. So now I'm reviewing the first Christmas Chronicles movie. So, without further ado, let's begin. Basically this movie is about two children who mess things up for Santa Claus and they have to save Christmas. Yeah, I know that messing things up and having to save Christmas is what that has been over done to death. But honestly, I don't mind that the fix executed well. And is it executed well? But let's talk about it. First, I'm gonna talk about Kate Pierce, played by Darby Khan. Now she's a very young girl. And I mean, very young. She, of course, doesn't approve of anything that her brother does, which is understandable, but more on that later. Now, she's a good fucking girl and cares a lot about Christmas, and I can tell that she really fucking believes in Santa Claus, which is fucking awesome. Yeah, she's a cute girl, what can I say? And then, of course, with personality wise. Now, her brother is Teddy Pierce, played by Juta Lewis. This guy is a fucking asshole. I didn't like him in the slightest. Was overall a terrible person, and is always in fucking trouble. To be fair, though, it's kind of a good thing though, because you know, he is a bad character, not a good character in the slightest. An actual character always gives a movie a good conflict. They are the ones that make the movie more interesting. And you know what for that? It really fucking worked. I love how the brother and sister have like the opposite personalities and are struggling fucking working together. But it's certainly interesting. Now then the third and final character that I want to talk about is Santa Claus, played by Costa Russell. Now this version of Santa Claus is nothing special. It's just your typical Santa Claus that you see in every movie about Santa Claus. He's a nice charming guy who cares a lot about the children. And that's about it. There is nothing really noteworthy about this Santa Claus. With that being said, there's still one minor thing that's different about this Santa compared to the rest. This version of Santa Claus is not fat at all. In fact, he's fucking offended that people are stereotyping him as a fat guy. That's just is a good changing face and I really like it. Now, as I say, eat so much cookies and milk for the entire fucking night, it still doesn't make sense that he isn't fat. But whatever, I can let that slide. So, it's, this person the different than Santa is admirable for sure. Now then, now that I'm done talking about the characters, let's talk about other things regarding this movie. There's one thing that's really puzzling to me. Why the hell are the characters in this movie using video cassettes to record during Christmas? I mean, for fuck's sakes, video cassettes were pretty much obsolete by 2018. No one uses them anymore. Hell, even in 2006, when the first video cassette was recorded in this movie, yeah, they were still fucking obsolete by then. Do you know what was to be used to record videos with back in 2006? Fucking DVDs! I mean, yes, YouTube was new back then and recording something and putting it online wasn't as common back then as it is now. But like I said, people used cameras to record on DVDs back then. Sure, no one does it now, but that's what it was like back then. Why the hell are people using fucking video cassettes in this movie? It just doesn't fit with me. Now, the visuals for this movie are fucking amazing. I really like how the Christmas pitching in this movie works and stuff like that. Honestly, science fiction here, there is one thing that I forgot to say about Santa Claus, which I was going to say, but forgot. Everybody who meets up with him thinks that he is a fucking nutcase, which to be fair makes sense. The fact that he is the real Santa Claus is very fucking hard to believe. And because of that, despite the evidence, not many people believe him and think he's either crazy or making this shit up. Yeah, it's nothing new. In fact, it has been done countless of times in movies about Santa Claus. But I don't have a problem with something being overdone as long as it at least makes sense. And honestly, it does. Now, if you guys are wondering what I think of the elves, well, I already talked about it in my review of the sequel. So if you want to know what I think of the elves, a link to my review of the second one is in the description below. I pretty much have the same shit to say about the elves in this book as I did in my review of the other one. So they're pretty much the fucking same characters. Now there's one thing about this book that's really bothering me, which also bothers me about the sequel. But a movie is titled Chronicles, you would think that it has several different side plots, but no, it doesn't. It only has one fucking plot 
and no sight plot or anything like that. Then why the hell is it called the Christmas Chronicles? You would think that there would be a couple of side plots that's the title of the movie, but nope. I don't fucking get it. Like, at all. Now it's time for my overall thoughts. I must admit, this is a creative take on Santa Claus. Now, I don't like this movie as much as its sequel, in fact. I think The Christmas Chronicles 2 is a much better fucking movie. With that being said, I still think that this movie is fucking awesome. The main sort of likely second one more is because it's bigger and more eventful. I mean, that doesn't always work for a movie, but many times it does. But even though I love the sequel more, this movie is still fucking awesome. And for that, I'm of course going to give it a rating two thumbs up. Well, guys, you've reached the end of the video. Thank you all for watching. You all have a fantastic day.